saying they thought Arbery might have been fleeing a crime. According to court accounts, the defendants had chased and cornered the 25-year-old victim with their pickup trucks while he was jogging in a mostly white neighborhood in February 2020. One of the defendants then fatally shot him with a shotgun. Arbery's case is one of the many recent racially motivated ones in the U.S. that has fueled nationwide protest. The trial of the accused has also been controversial for its seemingly disproportionate jury, which includes 11 white people and only one black man. Zita Holborn is a human rights campaigner who joins us from London. Zita, welcome. Uh, the prosecutor uh, said that the, a lot of assumptions were made in this case, but we didn't hear what those assumptions were in that particular soundbite. Maybe you can fill us in as to why this has become, therefore, a controversial case. Greetings and thanks for having me on. Um, I think that what happened um, to uh, Arbery was a modern day lynching. Um, you know, the fact that the three that murdered him could make um, those assertions that they assumed this and they assumed that and they thought he was guilty of this and take the law into their hands and decide it was okay for them to be armed with weapons and murder a black black man in that way. Um, it beggars belief that the judicial system in the USA would think it acceptable to have just one um, black member of uh, a jury, given the history um, in the USA and actually very recent history, including the murder of George Floyd, you think that they would want to get something like this right. And I think that in that county, it's at least 25% black population. So at the very, very least, you would expect a proportionate number of black people on the jury. But actually, in a case like this, wouldn't you want to make sure that the um, jury is a, a, mixed, a mixed jury and to ensure that there can be no racial bias in the conclusions that the jury reaches? And that's another controversy. Why, why would that happen uh, to have, uh, I think there's only one uh, um, African-American person on that jury. It, it, I mean, that, that just spells divisiveness uh, and, of course, the verdict uh, 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 once it is announced uh, to then have more controversy come out of this case. Absolutely. It's pretty shocking that of um, 12... Uh, suggested jury members, they discounted 11 of the, the people who were black African-American. Um, my understanding is that they did some uh, really huge scrutiny and vetting of those um, potential jury members over a two-week period and discounted many of them um, because they had in some way protested um, the, the murder of Arbery or expressed a view on that murder. Um, but to expect the black community in the USA, either locally or nationally, or even internationally, not to have the view, have any kind of view or opinion on the murder of a black man in such a brutal, horrendous way, um, that's not going to happen in reality, is it? People are going to have expressed views at the time. Um, I think actually many people will have known um, the individual in such a small community. So actually they needed to look at um, selecting this jury in a different way, perhaps not hearing the case locally in the way they have and doing things differently there is institutional ra racism in the judicial system in the usa actually in the uk as well and so they should have been doing everything in their power to get this right all right very well thank you very much for that zita holborn human rights campaigner from london it was great to see you thank and with you. that we come to an end for this news review and for this bulletin thanks for tuning in